In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call the sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book, of Samuel. All the elders of Israel came in a body to Samuel at Ramah and said to him, Now that you are old and your sons do not follow your example, appoint a king over us as other nations have to judge us. Samuel was displeased when they asked for a king to judge them. He prayed to the Lord. However, who said in answer, grant the people's every request. It is not you they reject. They are rejecting me as their king. Samuel delivered the message of the Lord in full to those who were asking him for a king. He told them, the rights of the king who will rule you will be as follows. He will take your sons and assign them to his chariots and horses, and they will run before his chariot. He will also appoint from among them his commanders of groups of a thousand and of a hundred soldiers. He will set them to do his plowing and his harvesting and to make his implements of war and the equipment of his chariots. He will use your daughters as ointment makers, as cooks and as bakers. He will take the best of your fields, vineyards and olive groves and give them 
to his officials. He will tithe your crops and your vineyards and give the revenue to his eunuchs and his slaves. He will take your male and female servants as well as your best oxen and your asses and use them to do his work. He will tithe your flocks and you yourselves will become his slaves. When this takes place, you will complain against the king whom you have chosen. But on that day, the Lord will not answer you. The people, however, refused to listen to Samuel's warning and said, Not so. There must be a king over us. We too must be like other nations with a king to rule us and to lead us in warfare and fight our battles. When Samuel had listened to all the people had to say, he repeated it to the Lord, who then said to him, Grant their request and appoint a king to rule them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Bless the people who know the joyful shout. In the light of your countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name they rejoice all the day, and through your justice they are exalted. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. For you are the splendor of their strength. <clears throat> and by your favor, our horn is exalted. For to the Lord belongs our shield, and to the Holy One of Israel, our King. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus returned to Capernaum after some days, it became known that he was at home. Many gathered together so that there was no longer room for them, not even around the door and he preached the word to them. They came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. Unable to get near Jesus because of the crowd, they opened up the roof above him. After they had broken through, they let down the mat on which the paralytic was lying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to them, Child, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there asking themselves, Why do this man speak that way? He is blaspheming. Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus immediately knew in his mind what they were thinking to themselves. So he said, Why are you thinking such things in your heart? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise, pick up your mat and walk. But that you may know, 
that the Son of Man has authority to forgive sins on earth. He said to the paralytic, I say to you, rise, pick up your mat, and go home. He rose, picked up his mat at once, and went away in the sight of everyone. They were all astounded and glorified God, saying, We have never, never seen anything like this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear friends, maybe let us try to imagine how massive was the crowd when they all knew that Jesus was in their home. Kung pag-uusapan lang natin ang Jesus na sareno, balikan po ninyo ano nangyari nung, nung Martes. Halos anim na milyon ang nagpunta sa Kiyapo o nakiisa sa traslasyon Jesus Nazareno pa lang po ito na gawa sa kahoy na ating pinaniniwalaan na siya iyon. Pero kung si Jesus mismo ang dumating po, marahil hindi lang isang milyon ang dadagsa. Pagsisiksikan ho natin, kasama na po ako dun. And try to imagine how big the number was the people when they all knew again that Jesus was home. This is the iconic story of the people or the friends who brought the paralytic near the, near the Lord, but then they can even find a place or para mailusot itong kaibigan nilang ito. But there is another detail that I would like to stress. Scribes were sitting maybe near Jesus, or maybe around the presence or the area where Christ was. But then again, their eyes were raised. Napatanong sila. May comment na naman sila sa ginawa ni Jesus. They, ask, they were asking themselves, Why does this man speak that way? Who but God alone can forgive sins. You see the irony? Yung mas malayo o yung mas imposible pang makalapit o makadala kay Jesus ng isang tao, nakagawa ng paraan. Sabi nga po, tinistis pa daw yung bahay ni Jesus para lang maibaba yung paralitikong iyon. But on the one hand, there were people, those the closest and the nearest to Christ, they were the ones even not able to at least give way to this paralytic man. Those who cannot even appreciate how good the Lord is in front of this man. This irony, my dear brothers and sisters, is a reality and a danger to all of us. Baka nga malapit tayo kay Jesus. Malapit tayo kung nasaan ang Diyos. Pero sa oras ng may nangangailangan naman sa Diyos, ayaw nating magbigay daan. Nangunguna pa tayo sa pamumuna. Nangunguna pa tayong makakita ng pangit. Nangunguna pa tayo makakita ng hindi maganda sa pangyayaring iyon. At marahil, tayo pa ang ayaw magdala papalapit kay Jesus katulad sa mga taong ito. Taong simbahan, mas goer, baka kami ring mga pari at mga relihiyoso, mga masasabi nating mga malalapit kay Jesus, Pero baka sa panahon na may gustong makakita kay Jesus o makalapit kay Jesus, we might bragging our own rights and even our entitlements. Entitlements, not only one, 
but many. As if we are saying, this is my place. I deserve to be here. I must not be taken out of here. Kung may kailangan ka maghanap ka ng paraan mo, hindi kita bibigyan ng pamamaraan. I will not give way. We might be doing worse rather than what is best for others. At nakakahiya, baka manggaling pa iyan sa mga taong malapit at malapit kay Jesus. Again, this is also for me and also for every one of us. My dear brothers and sisters, let this be a challenge for us. The closer to the Lord, the closer we can be for everyone. Hindi sana kailang, hindi sana kung kailan tayo pa ang mas malapit sa Diyos. Doon tayo mawawalan o nawala, nawalan ng pakialam, ng pakiramdam o kahit pakikiramay sa iba. All the more that we are close by distance to, with Jesus, the closer our distance to our friends and to those in need of Christ. The closer to Jesus, the stronger our love, the stronger our affection, the stronger are our concern for everyone. Please stand. With all the trust of the paralytics, friends, let us bring to the Lord the needs and miseries of the church and of the world. For every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Spirit may guide the church in carrying out Christ's mission to preach forgiveness of sins to all who seek God's mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that we may foster peace in the hearts of men and women by our readiness to forgive and forget past offenses. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that we may be ready to bring Christ, especially to those whose lives were shattered by painful circumstances. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the handicapped may continue to hope and to trust in God, who wishes wholeness for everyone. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That our departed brethren may have fullness of life in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we lift up to the Lord all the prayers offered in this Mass, as well as the prayers of our brothers and sisters joining us via online streaming. We lift up to the Lord our prayers for each other and for our own intentions. For all of these, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the forgiveness shown to us by your Son. May we in turn show forgiveness to all who have offended us. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, 
and Jose, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to say, Our Father, who Lord art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Mas, mas, 
Please stand. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has been offered. Go forth in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen.